Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. I'm in the Forerunner. I got the Insta360 1R firmware upgrade that I found out yesterday thanks to YouTuber Jay Cookie, who let me know that there was a new firmware upgrade. And I had checked Thursday night getting ready to go get the puppies and it wasn't there. It turns out they then put it up on Friday. So I missed it by about a half a day. I updated this damn thing and took it out last night and tested it. The audio sounded great, everything looked great, and it didn't shut off at all. Now, today, since I've had it on the drive from my house to my post office box here, I mean my UPS box, it has shut off about six times. I don't know why. So I went in and I made sure like all the sleepy, screeny, off, auto, off shit was turned off. Then I actually shut off the verbal commands thinking, I don't know, maybe I'm saying something that's, that's turning it off, that's shutting it off. Then I went in to go get my packages and stuff and, and to pay for some stuff and I came out and it was still on. Now, since I have been sitting here and I've started this video, it's been going for over a minute, I have said pretty much everything that I said before and it hasn't shut off yet. Knock on wood. So I'm gonna start driving, then I'm going to kind of put this through its paces. I have it set up 1080p, 24 frames a second. I have the Rode Wireless Go connected to it. When I first tested it last night, I went for a walk around the neighborhood real quick before it got dark, and I forgot to shut off. Uh, I guess they have wind noise reduction set to auto on, or active, whatever. I didn't catch that. I didn't go through all the settings. I was so excited to try it. So I went in and shut that off, and then I tried to test it again, but at that point it was already too dark outside and, and you know, it already looks like crap because of it's, it's not very good in low light. So I just walked around my, my house and everything seemed to be fine audio wise. Now, I did notice that they still never put in gain control back in from that beta that I had been using. The beta had, you know, you could change it from zero all the way up to plus 24. And that's what I was doing. I was putting it up to 24 just to get the sound to be usable. Well, it's not on there, again, with this latest upgrade, but it sounded fine. So I can control whatever I need to control with the wireless go. So whatever they did, it seems to be working now. It's not muffled with the Rode wireless go. And I also tried the internal mic and that sounded just fine too. As it stands right now, I have now been recording for almost four minutes straight and it hasn't shut off. So I'm beginning to think that the turning off stuff might not necessarily have been, to do with the firmware, it might have just been that inadvertently, I don't know, I didn't look and see what all the, all the uh, active words are for, for you know, voice commands and all that kind of stuff, but it is highly possible, because we all know that sometimes I'm a dumbass and I do dumb stuff, that I might have been saying something that was triggering this to stop recording and to shut off. So right now, before it starts pouring, because it's weird because the sun kind of comes out, but then it gets all cloudy and stuff and it looks like it's gonna rain. I'm back at, you know, our favorite spot here, back behind the rec center in the woods where I test every other camera and function that I wanna test. And we're gonna take a little walk here. So I wanna make sure that this thing is working as well as it was before the upgrade. That's as far as the footage goes and stabilization and things like that and audio's either gonna be good or it's gonna suck. Okay, I I'm gonna have to just come out and say it. It had to have been the fact that I had verbal commands turned on. Because ever since I, I mean, really, that's the only setting that I changed and it hasn't shut off since. But definitely, if, if yeah, I wasn't saying a trigger word, but shutting that setting off stops this from turning off like that, that's fine, I don't give a shit, as long as it doesn't turn off. I'm gonna stop this now. I've been going for 27 minutes and 43 seconds. So I think it's safe to say that it's not gonna shut off. All right, now that I'm back at home in the studio, I have gone to various websites and I have tested this thing by seeing that I did in fact have voice commands on and I think I've had them on all along. I can't be sure, but it now makes sense because the voice commands are start recording, stop recording, take a photo, shut down camera. When I went out earlier, like I said, I had it in the Forerunner and I did have voice commands on and it did in fact stop recording, 
and it did in fact shut down. And I started getting pissed off again, and then I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if I'm making that happen because it didn't happen before. So I went in while I was sitting here and I just verified that I did have that on and I unplugged it and plugged it because sometimes it doesn't work with the Rode Wireless Go, but it was working definitely with the internal mic and I indeed could stop it from recording and I could indeed shut it down. So I'm just going to chalk that up to me being a dumbass and that I was making that happen. I will also say that I have looked online and I have seen people say that the voice command stuff is iffy at best. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. And I think that's what's happening with this. It's just, it's just not right. I don't give a shit about having voice commands. I have fingers, I can start and stop the camera and turn it off and turn it on. So I'm not worried about that. I just don't want it to shut off or stop recording when I'm actually using it. So that's it. I have tested everything that I bitched and moaned about before and said that the camera was dead to me. So I will say right now, Good job, Insta360, for fixing the audio. Don't goof it up again. It would still be nice if there was some gain control, but I'll just take there being good audio when I'm using my Rode Wireless Go. And that's the only microphone that I'm gonna use with this thing, and it works now. I do get very good usable audio the way it should be. I will publicly apologize to you right now for the camera shutting itself off because I don't think that it was. I think that was me making the recording stop and making the camera shut off without realizing I was doing it because I had the voice commands on and I was giving those commands. So my bad, sorry. All right, kids, that's it. I think we now have a working Insta360 that should do what I want it to do. Now I will start using it again and I will take it with me pretty much everywhere I go. And I'll also now reconsider buying the one inch sensor, the Leica one inch sensor mod for it because I was really like intrigued by it and jazzed to get it. If for nothing else, some low light performance and having a better cam, I don't know. We'll, we'll test that out when I get it. So the bottom line is the camera works now the way that it should work to the best of my knowledge because I'm not going to test all kinds of stuff with it, especially shit that I'm not going to use. But the latest firmware upgrade and that's version 1.2.41 which was released on February 5th, 2021, has now fixed the audio for me for using the Rode Wireless Go. And I actually read all the material and realized that I fixed me from being a dumbass and shutting the camera off with voice commands. So that's it. That's all I got. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Again, thanks to Jay Cookie for letting me know that they did in fact put out a firmware upgrade. And that's all I've got for you today. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.